All right. That's cool. That you've uh, got to 1600. Oh, nice. Oh, hey. It's one of those lights from a safe point. So uh, I ended up with this armor because someone tried to assassinate me in the, uh, the round table hold where I'm supposed to be safe. Like, one of the guys tried to murder me, which was odd. Um, let's have a look at that new spell that I just got. Let's just see what it looks like. Well, I don't know. I'm kind of like a skeleton man at the moment. So here we go. Uh... This is the one that I just learned. So this is supposed to taunt enemies nearby me, make enemies go mad, and make me go mad? My goodness. Jeez. Well, that's the weird thing. Let's go over there now and, and take a look at that. So, I guess this is like the nearest save point to it now. So that, there was this horrible witch at the start that was trying to like, I don't know, convince me that an item was from someone else and she was just here to hand deliver it to me. Uh, she lives at the top of this tower and she said, do I want to like sign a contract to become a servant? And I said, hell no, because she's a witch. Um, but I got a save point in there for some reason. Doesn't seem safe, but see the here it is so there's this cellar over here that's a secret right I had like a, a a note about it one of the special game notes that tells you about things Preceptor Celibus he's got a tower here but it's locked Preceptor Celibus is hiding a dirty secret in a cellar amongst the ruins not far from the sisters Three. Yeah, sure. Big map. And I've heard of a place from a bit of tooltip that says there's more north out of here. Yeah, so the place we were teleporting from was um, the Four Belfries. And now I've gone all the way up here into this castle full of zombie spider hands. Which was just evil. And uh, this is the top rise above the manor. So this is where the royalty live. And they're supposed to be in charge of this academy. But at some point their knights turned on them and attacked them. And some of the loyal knights retreated with them to this, this manor with the royalty. Uh, right, so... Yeah, the note's like... Dirty secret cellar. Not far from the Sisters 3. This is it. Yeah, we uh, fought one gal on a horse that was firing wizardry from a lance. And a dragon that just retreated partway into the fight. He just left. And I don't know what happened. He teleported away. He was a magic dragon and it was just, it was just bizarre. So um, even within this place, there was a message here saying, Selvis's puppets do not touch. So we know what Preceptor Selvis looks like. And he's got all of these, like... Hey there, Sly. We've got all these, like... They're people, but they've been described as dolls and puppets by other NPCs so far. So I said that there was... an extra weird copy of that Sorcerer Selen, a third one. Right? Because you go in this room, which is like another secret wall, and look... Look who it is! But she's not talking. She is upright and she's not chained to something like the other one. But this creepy secret room with a with a bed in it and you know whatever's going on here. There's like there's definitely air flowing through the cave because the cloak's like waving in the wind, but otherwise there's no movement. And you can't talk to. 
anti-sleep spell. I don't think I have anything like that. I'm allowed to swing my weapon in here, but, you know, I'm, I'm not very, not, you know, that's not my solution to everything, but it's weird, right? And there's still the other two copies of her in the other two places at the same time. So I don't know. It's just it's just it's just weird, man. It's all weird. Uh so where was I just now? Right, this was my new safe one. Oh, this one's called Frenzied Flame Village Outskirts. So this is another place I know from a note that it's here. Um so let's actually read the note for this one again, seeing as we're, we're now finally past that tower of craziness. South of the Grand Lift of Nectus, which we know was a, a thing up near me, it lies the Frenzy Flame Village, inhabited by the sick. Stay well away. That was it. It was telling me not to go here. So that Howl spell looked really weird. I'll show it to Sly Hippo as well, now that you're here. So this is my new spell that I just got, another madness one. My eyes explodes, it taunts enemies, and it makes madness on me and enemies nearby. It's very weird. I don't really want it. But I brought something from the turtle recently. Is this the one that I brought off of the turtle? I think so. Let's give this one a go. Hmm. Might have been the other one. Yes, I just defeated it just now. There were six. There were six guys at the top, and they were all like in the insane man pose, and once they all died, the the light just never came back. Which is just weird. Let's try out this other one. So this one's Sergio Flame. Wow. Flamethrower hands. I think this is the one that I just brought the turtle. So I can just keep going with that until I run out of mana. Which is kind of fun. Should definitely go and try it out. So this, uh, I put on the rest of the armor set. It had the same tooltip as the hat. So apparently each part of the set's going to help you, like, regen. I would love a bigger mana bar. I've got so many stats that I kind of want. Like, there's this one fire spell that's called, like, the fire of the felled god fire. And I need even more faith than what I've got now before I can use it. So this one's pointing to a dungeon that's ahead. So let's put a marker, I don't know, like one, one that I don't normally use here and here, all along like a line where that thing's pointing so that I'll just be able to like see which one of these it is. Yeah, so so far they haven't had set bonuses. I don't think, for wearing a full set, but this one slowly replenishes HP on the hat, slowly replenishes HP on the chest, and the gloves, and the greaves. So I don't know if you need to wear the whole set or if each each of the four has the same thing on it. But I thought, well, okay. I mean, why not, yeah? Oh, it's one of the giants that has his sword drawn from the start and a helmet on? That one looks like he's got a cape, too. Oh, that's a big tower. That looks fun. This could be where the dungeon thing's pointing to. What's in the other way past this tree? Silly tree in my way. So this is... This is a man-made structure as well. well. I think we have to go check out the giant first. Elden Ring's so crazy. Oh, you know what? Seeing as everyone in this area has, like, the madness, this could be, like, a giant that's going to use madness. It's just the thing where you get the funny glowing eyes and take a load of damage and it just seems to be like a status effect. 
that just, I don't know, it killed me last time it went to full. I wanted to use the, the new spell on him, so I didn't have my shield out. I was trying to, like, roll under his sword all the time, but it just, you know, he just kept on swinging forever. I mean, I don't, I don't think it provides plus damage. So far, it's just killed me, and it's been bad. It's like a one of a list of many bad debuffs in the game, like bleeding and poison and everything. Madness just seems to be bad. I don't, I haven't seen any good effects to madness. going well until he stepped on me. Didn't actually seem to do that like that much damage, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, I think he is. Oh, and and I'm dead. I think maybe this just might be a, like a like a high level giant. I should probably try fighting him properly rather than using like spells I don't really know and going in without any buffs or anything. But he just like that that that's it. Like one drop of the sword and I am I am out of there. Let's go with something a bit more classic. Electrify the weapon. Do the flame buff me spell and just go in normal. Probably should have gotten the horse, but I felt like, eh, you get on the horse and then you have to get off of it again ten seconds later, but actually taking the journey without the horse does take significantly longer. Maybe he's just resistant to fire. That's another thing. That's my uh, one protection effect. Eep. Oh yeah, we found out that these guys are actually trolls, not giants. Um, from a bit of sword tip, and I've got like a troll sword now, which is like the sword that this guy is using. I keep on forgetting about that. But yeah, these guys are not giants. Uh oh. Yay, Bleed Brock. Wow, he was considered a group all by himself. I got like a flask back. Yeah, here we go. Um, Troll Knight Sword. Then I had another tooltip that's mentioned giants specifically. So these guys are trolls. Let's see what he was guarding. Converted Fringe Tower. May Erudition light the way. See, we had one of these before where the door was locked and it had this like in the bottom as, as a as a message. But what I did last time was I just like got on my horse and I jumped like up into the tower and you know, I kind of skipped the locked door and got the loot out of the top. I wonder if I can do that with this one. It's not the same structure exactly, but it's the same puzzle in the doorway. Try climbing up the other side. Now the other one had like this, I don't know, like this bit behind it that you could just 
jump on with the horse and then do a double, double jump and get into the back of the top of the tower. This one looks to be a bit different. I did get some crystal darts though, so not all is lost. Ah, oh, that sucks. I have to figure out how, like, the puzzle works. So what I tried to do the other time to solve the puzzle anyway was I tried to, like, I don't know, copy what the statue was doing with its hands with an emote. But that, that didn't seem to be the solution. Oh, yeah, wicked horse jumps. Yeah, I don't really have an emote that makes me uh, do, do this with my hands. Like, the Walk Like an Egyptian song. So there we go. I guess I fail that tower for now. Whoa. Who is that? There is a guy down there. Out of the way, Torrent. <laughs> yeah, there's a guy with a shield and like a... Shoots bow. You know, you're onto something there. 39. Whoa. Is he gonna do it again? Whoa. Whoa. All right. Well, forget the structure opposite us. We got <laughs> we got to go see what this guy is all about. Oh, oh, no. Whoa. Okay. I'm alive. I'm alive. It's okay. We meant to do that. <laughs> Oh, this guy. Is he going to get it, or am I going to get it? I want to try my flamethrower again. Is this dragonfly following me? I don't know where it's gone now. Oh, there it was, kind of in front. Yeah, look at that. Now that spell's kind of bad. It doesn't really do all that much. Yeah. Yeah, they seem to be tombstones sticking out the side. They've been kind of all over the game and they're just like a like a weird feature of the game. Oh, this guy's not too tough when you actually do hit him. Oh, yeah. He may be headless, but he's also harmless. Wait, he's he was doing a stasis effect at me. Look at that. It's some kind of, like, blackened explosion status. I'm glad I didn't let him hit me too much more. I don't know what that was. Oh, this guy is, like, the worst. Maybe I can flamethrower this guy. Come on, you. Come on. Ah, oh, he got me. Die, die, die. <laughs> this flamethrower spell is awful. Who would design such a bad spell? There we go. I finally got someone with it. We did it, guys. Oh, I wonder what this guy was like guarding. Because it was like... Yeah, more powerful than Gale. He was standing here at the start, like, guarding. So, it makes sense. We found, like... Golden, golden morphing guy. I like him, specifically. Like, he didn't seem to drop anything. But he, he, he dropped a dungeon. So, I guess there's that. Black Knife Catacombs and the Beast Eye Quivers. So the Beast Eye is interesting. 
Because when we hand stuff into like the beast guy death root collector, he gives us beast spells. Bestial sling wasn't all that great. He also gave him bestial vitality. I don't think I looked at this yet. Fills the body with bestial vigor, restoring HP over a period of time. Having gained intelligence, the beast must have felt how their wildness slipped away as civilization took hold. Huh, weird. Let's see if we can get a better spell on my hotbar. Let's get the lightning bolt back on, that was cool. Yeah, that'll do for now. Oh, here we go. Skeletons. Oh, you know what? If it's a skeleton dungeon... We should change this up a little bit. Go to the Ash War. Make this one Sacred Blade. Then heavy again. There we go. We got our we got our undead killer. Shing! No need for the double tap. He's dead. A little bit suspicious here. There's like a I thought it was a spear lined up against the wall, but it's just a candlestick. I thought, like, this guy was going to get up and try and spear me in the back. So we found the door. I like. Now we just need the lever. Bam. Oh, cool. Use the stone sword key. Yep. Bam. Failed ambush. I was expecting to be ambushed. What the hell? That archer has a shiv and he knows how to use it. Roses his axe. I like axes. Usher of Death, Rosas, who shows the path to the catacombs throughout the lands between, is depicted on this ritual axe. The dead easily lose their way and have always been in sore need of guiding hands. Unique skill, Rosas' summons. Raise the axe aloft to summon those lost in death. The three skeletons will appear at a distance and attack in tandem before vanishing. Whoa, what's up with this guy? I don't seem to be getting HP regen off of this armor set, even though the tooltip says it's going to do that. I was still at the same amount of health the whole time. Whoa, what is going on with this room? What is that? Oh my god. It's like a like a saw blade like in Dark Souls 3. There were enemies that had a saw blade like this. Oh man. That makes me nervous. Ow. I'm going to try something crazy. Yeah, <laughs> guillotine room. Like, you know, he can... He can divorce three wives at once, Henry VIII, in this room. I'm going to try something crazy. 
What? <laughs> um, I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it, or if I'm supposed to, like, find a stair somewhere, but this is how I'm going to do it. <laughs> Whoops, banked up too far. Oh! <laughs> that looked really janky. <laughs> yeah, it didn't look right. But that that's how I'm going to do it. Hey, there's a statue of one of those weird boss dog cats. Bam! Bam! I love this anti-undead holy enchant thing. It's so good. I'm not too sure about these guys. They're a bit, a bit wimpy compared to the, like, even the skeletons. Oh well, I won't complain. Winning is fine. Oh, ow. Bam! Stay down. Okay. So there's like... A hole in the floor? But... Really? This doesn't go... This doesn't go anywhere else? Ooh! Wait, what? Normally the bosses in dungeons are behind the... You know, the door where you find a lever. I mean, we already found the door. Right? So what's that? Okay, well, I'll check these last couple of walls, seeing as, I, you know, they're here, but... What? Right, but that's that's so weird because we haven't got into the door that has the boss, so that... Is this a boss with our boss? In case we wanted more bosses with our bosses? Whoa! Aye! Oh, no! Grapple! Grapple! Ah, uh, oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> That's why they're calling the Black Knife Assassin. Just, you know, my neck. There was there was blood in it, and now there's not blood in it. <laughs> yeah, that guy was, was, like, I wasn't expecting him to, like, just zip across the room and grapple me. Because that's not fair. But apparently, deal with it is the answer to that. See, that's where the boss should be. So what's going on? Th this place ain't right. Yeah! He, it, he just, like, scraped it. He was doing, like, some kind of Naruto. <laughs> with his, with his like, run along the floor. Arms low. Like, there's an entire way I didn't even go in this dungeon. Maybe we can find, like, the real door that way? Bam! Oops, run out. 